now we will start our um, talk about communication with the children and with each other for the next three days today to Wednesday. I'm going to talk about trust. Trust is one of the most important uh, forces in our life. If you look at your life in a day-to-day -day basis, on a day-to-day -day basis, there are many forces that drive us. The force to um, care for our children is a big force in our lives. The care that we give to our children is a big force for each of us. Besides that, this trust that I'm talking about is a subtle force. It's a powerful force, but it is a very, very subtle force. A few days ago, we spoke about safety net. And what does it mean to you? I had asked you. Maybe you thought about it, maybe you did not, but here is another opportunity for us to touch that again, to trust. What is it that you trust most in life? According to many masters, Buddha, Krishna, um, Jesus, and uh, also Moses, and also the Islamic tradition points out that the first thing that we need to trust is ourselves. When you trust yourself, it can translate into confidence. Hear me say that. When you trust yourself, it translates into confidence. When you are not confident, there is an element of trust which is lacking in us. So try and work with trust and confidence on yourself as we begin to enter into the world after the lockdown, almost a year now. God. The second thing is trust your ideas, your philosophy. Like if you believe that vegetarianism or veganism or um, nonviolence is something that you believe in, please, please touch base with that. That is a big force in our life. If you do believe in something that you trust that this is the path for you. Nonviolence, silence, that is called the Dharma or the teaching or the philosophy that you believe in yourself. So you believe in yourself first. The second thing you do is you trust the philosophy that you have for yourself. If you really look deeply you will not have many, many uh, philosophies in your life. You will have something like, I'm going to help out whoever asks me to help out. Or I'm going to take care of my family. Or I'm going to be kind to myself. There will be three or four major categories of um, beliefs and uh, dharmas that you are following. So recognize that. The third thing, the third thing that comes very, very important is to trust the community that you belong to. The community that you belong to is a force in your life. So these three are the major, major forces that we are talking about today. One is yourself. The second is what you believe in. And the third is the community you live in. So this becomes the forces in our lives. For now, we will stop with this for today. We'll continue this for the next two days as we go along.